Welcome back to that dad guy. It's June 11th, 2023. And today I've got a few postcards that I can uh, fill out. I've got four official ones. I've got some direct swaps I'm going to do today. Uh, so like normal, I'm going to show you the ones that I picked out for my official, but I'm not going to show you the direct swaps this week. I'm going to show you something else that has been, has come in. So still postcard related. But first, what I want to start talking about is a meetup that's coming up here in Canada. Um, some of you don't watch my videos all the way to the end, and sometimes I put that information at the very end. And I want to make sure that everyone is aware of this meetup in case you happen to be in New Brunswick in early July. So July 8th, there's going to be a meetup in Fredericton. It's going to be at the Winter Capital Winter Club, which is a curling club, at 232 Rookwood Avenue in Fredericton. And it's going to go from 12 to 3. So uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to see some of the friends that I've made at uh, the meetups that we had last summer here in Moncton or maybe in Prince Edward Island or perhaps someone will even travel up from Nova Scotia. That would be amazing. Where it's at 12 o'clock, that gives ample opportunity for people to travel to get there. And where it's done at 3, there's an opportunity to travel home too if they want to. Or you can spend the night and uh, enjoy... Fredericton. Now, what's different about this meetup? It's going to be a normal meetup stuff, but it is in conjunction with the geocaching event that is happening happening in the area. So, uh, if you're into geocaching and you want to go check that out, but you're also into post crossing or we're interested in post crossing, you might as well come down and see us there. So, Sophia from Montreal is coming down and organizing the thing again, like she did last year, and. Uh, she contacted me, so I'm going to help promote it, and then I'm going to go up there. I'm also going to shoot a video while I'm there. Uh, so if you happen to be there and you want to be in the video, there is opportunity for that. What else? Okay, if you want to buy the meetup cards when you're there, they're going to be 30 cents each, so it's pretty cheap. The idea of having meetup cards is that uh, they're not allowed to make money selling them. So Sophia has uh, produced these cards and uh, is selling them off at 30 cents each. She also has a stack of meetup cards from last year that were surplus from uh, what she didn't sell when we had our meetups. So if you're interested in those meetup cards, they won't be uh, signed on the back, so you can use them as blank cards. You can buy them. They're going to be 25 cents each, and they're going to be buy one, get one free. So for a simple dollar, you're going to get eight postcards. I don't think you can get any cheaper than that. Um, so if you want cards like that, let me give you an example. To get you revved up for what there is. Okay, cards like this, Prince Edward Island meetup cards. I've got some from last year too that I've yet to get rid of. Nova Scotia meetup cards. I mean, so if you like lighthouses, that's perfect for that. Or Fishing Village. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I haven't even got into New Brunswick yet. Oh, almost. There we go. New Brunswick meetup card. And New Brunswick meetup card. I don't have as many of those left anymore because of uh, obvious reasons. I get rid of the New Brunswick ones because I'm from New Brunswick. So those meetup cards are all going to be available for uh, buy one, get one free, 25 cents each. And then uh, there is one more meetup that is happening, and it's going to be in Newfoundland. Um, i give you a sneak peek. I'm not going to be there, but there is one of the meetup cards for it. And uh, here's the other meetup card for the Newfoundland meetup. So you can go on the uh, post-crossing site, and uh, it will tell you exactly where the meetups are. Um, the uh, Fredericton one should be up soon, hopefully, and uh, you can see that. But I really want you guys to get out, get the message out too. If you're a post-crosser and you're planning on attending, tell some of your other post-crossing friends over there. It would be nice to have a big event. It's great to have cozy little events. When we were in uh, Prince Edward Island, there was only like five of us that were there. So it was a great way to chit chat and get to know other people. It wasn't a big crowd. Um, when it was in Moncton, we had rain, so we had uh, tarps down, which was really cool, kind of cozy around a picnic table. So we got to uh, talk and uh, intermix that way too. We we're a bit bigger group there, but not by, by much, six or seven of us, I think. And then uh, in Nova Scotia, there was only two close crossers that showed up for that one. So that was a really small one. So I am hoping that we can get a, a lot of people out. I'm talking about it a lot now, but I'm going to continue talking about the meetup until it happens because it is uh, only a few weeks away. Here we are the 11th, so like three weeks time, um, this meetup will take place. I'm also hoping to get a, a few messages out through postcrossing.com 
uh, you can send to people in your area. So that's what I, I plan on doing. So um, if you haven't told the people yet, if you're watching, go ahead and tell them and uh, let's get the word out. And uh, if you know, leave a message, say, hey, yeah, I'm going to come. I'm going to try to get there. Um, it would be kind of great to have an idea who might be coming uh, from the area and maybe from where. Just say, yeah, I'm coming. I'm from Digby, Nova Scotia. I am coming. I'm from um, Charlottetown. I'm from Glace Bay, Moncton, wherever. Uh, that'd be cool. Or maybe you're from Fredericton. You're seeing this for the first time. And uh, all you have to do is roll out of bed and get over there. <laughs> that'd be great. So meet up July 8th. Capital Winter Club, 232 Rookwood Avenue in Fredericton at 12 to 3. Okay, now let's get into uh, the cards that I plan on sending today. This is the angle I usually send, so let's uh, look at it from this way. All right, the first card that I have going out is going to Germany, and uh, she says she is 35 years old. She's a mother of two wonderful sons, 7 and 11 years old, and in March 2022... Uh, I live in a, I lived in the wonderful city of Odessa, Ukraine, but now she's in the beautiful city of Dusseldorf, Germany. Uh, she's studying German. I'd be glad to receive postcards in German. Also really like to read, travel, and recently started cycling. My entire collection of postcards remained in, in Ukraine. I really want uh, to collect new ones. So things that she enjoys are kings and queens, snow or rain, nature, umbrellas, cactuses, flowers, superheroes for her son, paintings and artists, Moomin, uh, funny postcards, pandas, alpacas, and interesting places of your country. So uh, the first one that jumped out of there was superhero. So I went through all my collection. I don't have any superhero postcards. Uh, so I couldn't do that. So I went and grabbed a postcard that would have two options on it. And so these are snow scenes. That was what she liked, snow and rain. She also liked uh, interesting places from your city or country. So here are some winter images of Canada, um, whether it's waterfalls, whether it's uh, native dwellings, uh, snowmobiling, you know, carriage rides in the winter, church scenes. Yeah, a lot of different things that you can see here. And where it's summertime, sometimes I don't send out these winter ones until winter time. So if she likes winter scenes, there you go. All right, this next card is going to California in the United States. Uh, specifically, it's going to Ontario, California, which jumped out at me because Ontario is a province here in Canada. So I kind of like that connection. Uh, she says she's 70, uh, 71 years old, retired pharmacist. Post crossing was one of the activities that kept her sane during COVID. Um, me too. <laughs> Love watching the mail each day to see how many new cards are arrive. I still like that. Other than my family, my passions are live theater, uh, astronomy, and um, for a number of years, she participated in a series of online college courses hosted by uh, Swinburne University in Australia. She likes birding everywhere she travels. Uh, she's a stamp collector, uh, specifically engraved stamps from the British Caribbean. So that's very specific. Uh, she likes uh, geology and thought that maybe in another life, she was a volcanologist. So she likes cards about volcanoes. And she also enjoys hiking. So postcards that she enjoys getting is unique scenery, astronomy, anything related to volcanoes, local wildlife, uh, but no insects. Uh, anything to do with the theater, artwork, lighthouses, funny cards, historic buildings, classic cards, black and white. Uh, and then uh, pictures of uh, recorded historical events. So I've chosen this one here. This is the Prince Edward Island Lighthouse Collection. Uh, so three of the lighthouses you might see when you're in Prince Edward Island. So it's somewhat local and it's, it's her postcarding theme or her uh, lighthousing theme. All right, this next card is going off to Japan. So that's great to see. Uh, she says, uh, do not send your cards in an envelope because the, uh, she, he likes postage stamps and the postal date mark on the card. Uh, prefers not to get ad cards or uh, homemade cards. And also try to use interesting postage stamps. So on the cards, he wants to, to see a variety of things. That's great. Me too, that's when I get mine. Uh, he prefers transportation, airline, passenger, or airplanes. Exclu uh, exclusion doesn't want military planes. Uh, Railway-related tra train cards, trams, wagons, stations, railway buildings, and so on. Also enjoys cruise ship cards. So I've chosen this card. 
This is the Canadian Pacific Railway. There's three cards that are here. And this is a train that's at uh, Bristol in Carleton County here in New Brunswick. So it's not running anymore, but uh, it is something you can go and explore. Now, my last official card to go out is going to Montana in the United States. And she was born in Poland, raised in Chicago, Illinois, and now lives in the mountains of Montana. She's a healthcare professional by background, which gets a bit tiresome and emotionally draining, but she does help love helping her patients, excuse me. Uh, she lives in a bit of a secluded town and very much misses connecting with people and traveling. COVID had really put a damper on this. She loved getting to know people from all over and thinks it's such a connector. I don't have a preference to cards. Whatever makes you smile, send my way. So I wanted to send something that was local, but also something that kind of makes you smile. So for me, after the long winters, what makes me smile is the beach. Um, I try to get out there a little bit, whether it's to walk on the beach, uh, paddle in the water. When the, the kids were younger, we'd go and look for uh, seashells or hermit crabs or build sand castles and do all that fun stuff. Uh, now that they're older and go to the beach with their friends rather than with me, uh, sometimes I just have to find a time to get out to the beach and just hang out and go for a walk. So uh, even now, after it's been kind of dreary, uh, rainy, which we need, uh, but uh, still looking for the sun. Uh, I look for those nice warm days where I can kind of travel out and explore uh, beaches and trails and all that sort of thing. All right, so those are the four official ones I have to do today. And uh, like I said, I do have some direct swaps I'm going to do today, but I'm not going to show you them this week because uh, every once in a while, it's nice for people to kind of have a mystery. I know they have a mystery because I don't know if the card is coming to them, but uh, if you don't see it going out at all, when it shows up in your mailbox, it's a surprise. But what I do have is my in-laws went on a trip to Ottawa recently and they brought me back some postage cards. So, postage cards, postcards. <laughs> it's the kind of postage cards, but all right. Anyways, we have this image of Canada in the fall on a nice country road with all the trees, with all their leaves. Fall seemed to be a little bit of a theme. We have this one as well. Oh, it's barn and stone um, fencing around the yard this card which we've seen before but love this card love the colors in it polar bear hanging out and this one here of a moose hanging out also fall themed so we got those cards and then they brought over this envelope this comes from wendy and so i haven't opened it yet we're going to slice into it and see what we have in here. And, uh, oh, this is kind of cool. So we have a kind of a artistic rendering of lobster traps. We have some fish. This is a good one, actually, because it's got lobster, it's got crab, it's got things that are from here. These are Atlantic fish studies. And this beautiful... Water wheel, water wheel at King's Landing. The lighthouse in Bathurst with the Acadian flag colors. Another water wheel, same one, but a lighthouse one. So this is a lighthouse that uh, is on the green in Fredericton. So if you're at the meetup on July 8th, you can go check out the lighthouse. This is a postage paid card, so no stamps required. So for someone who is not necessarily a stamp collector, this is a good card to use. Also a good card for me to send out um, overseas because that $2.71 stamp gets saved for me because it's already worked into the postcard. So thank you, Wendy, for that. Uh, some nice icebergs in Newfoundland. Speaking of beaches, there's some footprints in the beach sand in Prince Edward Island. Also another prepaid card you can see there. Some wolves traveling through the snow. I love the animal cards. Here's some bears. All prepaid cards. Love it, love it. A foggy day in a fishing community in Nova Scotia. Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia. Sunset. Could be sunrise, I guess. Town of Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. 
great area. We got to visit there last summer. Another one from Lunenburg, the famous Blue Nose, the Canadian schooner. It was a racing ship. And this one here, there's a church is situated along Mahone Bay on the waterfront. This one here, we've got some more, uh, another fishing village in Nova Scotia, more lobster traps there along the way. That's actually in Peggy's Cove, where the lighthouse is. And then here's another one showing Peggy's Cove and different scenes. Well, not just Peggy's Cove, because there's a Blue Nose, which normally if you're in Lunenburg, that's where you're going to see it. But it does travel, so it's possible to be looking at the lighthouse and maybe the Blue Nose would sail by. So thank you, Wendy, for all those great cards and to my uh, in-laws, David and Christy, for the cards that they provided as well. So they will make great additions to cards going out. Uh, who knows? Maybe they'll end up being cards going out this weekend. Possible? Maybe. Maybe your mailbox will have one of them in there soon. So uh, you can thank Wendy and uh, David and Christy for that if you do. Okay. I've got that stuff happening now. What else do I have coming up? I don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, it's the weekend, so I'm going to fill up my carts. I might have to do some grocery shopping. The weather looks like it's going to be nice out today, so I'll hopefully get out for a nice walk today. Uh, that's on the agenda. A little barbecue for supper. Just take it easy. And then tomorrow we will worry about tomorrow and work and doing all those fun things when it happens. So you guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.